Hi, my name is David. Today we're going to do number 876, middle of the linked list. This is an easy level problem on leak code and we want to solve it in JavaScript. So we're given the head of a singly linked list, returning the middle node of the linked list. So just as a reminder, linked list, we can look at this function of how it's created. It has a, it takes in a val and the next. So in this case, the val would be one and then it points out to the next of it. So it'd be two, three, four, five as the head of it. And it just keeps chaining. So this would be the val of the second one and three, four, five would be the chain of what's next of it. So in this case, we wanna return what's in the middle. So this has five nodes, three is the middle. So we return this node and as the head of the linked list. And they have another caveat, if they are two middle nodes, return the second middle node. So here, one, two, three, four, five, six, there's an even number of nodes. There's two middle, we return the second middle. So four as the head. So there's a clever way of solving this problem. And that is by using pointers. So we can create two pointers, a half and an end pointer, we can call it. So the idea is that they're both gonna start off at one, the head, and the half is gonna go one by one. And the purpose of the half is to return the half of the node, the middle node. And the purpose of the second pointer, the end, is to increment the link list. And when this end stops, is when we return the middle. So to type it out, we create half variable and assign it to head. Okay, next we do create end variable and assign it to head. Now we loop through, we iterate through this linked list. So when do we know when to stop with this? And that's, as I mentioned before, the purpose of the end variable is to determine when to stop. And like most make lists, we stop when we hit null. So the second example best illustrates this. So we hit, starts at one, goes by two, three, five, and then null. And then we still need that null. So one to three, three to five, five to null. So that's three increments. And then we do one to two, two to three and three to four. So that's three increments. So that's how we need it. So we need that null. Once it hits that null, the next time we stop. So while node n is not null, but also we have to look at this case. So in this case, one goes to three, the, with the n going by two, one goes to three, three goes to five, and five goes to uh, no, uh, two nulls down. And, but we only need to uh, do one, two. So the half one is gonna go one, two, and the full one's gonna one, two. So we can see here that when the next of it points to a null, we stop. And n dot next is not null. So we need a, and here as well, because if we look at this case, so we so we need this one to, if we look at and, because this will be not null when we look at five, but this will. So we need, that's why we need the and here. So after that, we have to, Increment the half by one. So we do that by half equals half dot next. And then we increment the n by two. So end equals n dot next dot next. And you can change them, chain them together. The next is like that. And lastly, we, we, we just return half. Great, so now to put this in code, we do let half equals head, let and equal head, iterate, so while and dot next, and so we start off with and 
does not equal to null and and that next does not equal to null. Because when n equals to null, by definition, the next will also equal to null. But we need the other way around. This is why we need the next, because if one of them, if the five, this, this one, where we stop here, doesn't equal to null yet, but the next does. So we have to stop when both of them equals to null. Half equals half dot next and equals n dot next dot next. And we just return end. Sorry, we return half. Great, we got it. So let's talk about the time and space complexity. Since we're iterating throughout the entire node, we're gonna do O of N and then the space complexity. Since you were just using pointers, it's gonna be O of one. And we should specify where N is the number of nodes. And that's how you solve this problem. Thank you.